Good morning everyone. It is Friday morning, the 10th of December, and we're going to be reading from Luke chapter 1 this morning. It's about the birth of John the Baptist. Um, so let us turn to Luke chapter 1, and let's read verses 57 down to verse 66. Let's hear God's word. When it was time for Elizabeth's baby to be born, she gave birth to a son. And when her neighbours and relatives heard that the Lord had been merciful to her, everyone rejoiced with her. When the baby was eight days old, they all came for the circumcision ceremony. They wanted to name him Zachariah after his father. But Elizabeth said, no, his name is John. What? they exclaimed. There's no one in your family by that name. So they used gestures to ask the baby's father what he wanted to name him. He motioned for a writing tablet, and to everyone's surprise, he wrote, His name is John. Instantly, Zachariah could speak again, and he began praising God. All fell upon the whole neighbourhood, and the news of what had happened spread through all the Judean hills. Everyone who heard about it reflected on these events and asked, What will this child turn out to be? For the hand of the Lord was surely upon him in a special way. Amen. It's really interesting that up until uh, John is going to be circumcised, he doesn't have a name. And then as they go for the ceremony up in the temple, it's the, everybody else who's there who, who said they wanted to name him Zachariah. So it seems like the whole family is weighing in on the debate of the name. Not like today, whenever it's a closely guarded secret, maybe right up until the last minutes. And nobody else knows it, maybe except for the mum and dad. But everyone gets involved, everyone's saying, but his name will be Zachariah, that's his dad's name. And that was the tradition. You named somebody after somebody else in your family. Family names carried on right the way through generation after generation. But John was to be different. Which is no surprise, because John is a different sort of child. John is a child who is blessed by God. Someone who, for the very beginning of his life, is marked to be to be outstanding and uh, just as the people said at the very end of that passage what will this child turn out to be for the hand of the lord was surely upon him in a special way john is very special his father knows he's to be called john because that's what gabriel told him his mother knows he's to be called john and now everybody else is told his name will be john at that moment Zachariah can now speak. His tongue is loosed again, as it said. Um, he re re receives the power of speech. Everyone's in awe and wonder. And everyone just sees what's, what's going on. It's the first, another fulfilled promise from God. The one who will stand in the highway, in the wilderness, and, and cry out, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight the paths. It's wonderful to see God working out his miracles. It's wonderful to see God working out his plan and that's what we have here. This is the start of the plan as the journey to Bethlehem for Mary and Joseph for the birth of Jesus. We know that God's hand is in it. God's hand is in this birth. God's hand is in the birth of Jesus. God's hand will be upon John and use him in a mighty way. Just like his son will do mighty things on this earth. What a wonderful God we have. Let's pause and let us pray together. Dear Father, this morning again we thank you for your words. We thank you for how we can read about what happened so long ago and how it relates to us today. How we have the accounts of John's birth, what he did in his life, how he um, spoke to all the people, telling them to get ready for the, the coming Messiah. How he told them that he would not be even worthy to untie the sandals of the Messiah because he was so much greater than him. Father, he recognised that your son was coming and you sent him to, to get the other people ready as well. Lord, thank you for the promise of John. Thank you for his coming. Thank you for what it means to us today to know that we can trust your promises, to know that we can rely upon you. Today, as we head into the weekend, Father, Help us to rely upon you. Help us to, to lean on you and trust you and know that you are always with us. Father, go with us, we pray this day. In Christ's name. Amen. 
Thanks, folks, for watching. I do pray that today you have um, a great day, that you have a blessed day from God, that you have a day whenever you know you can rely upon his promises, where you can trust him uh, for what he says, uh, and may you know that peace of his presence with you. Uh, no streaming tomorrow morning, and then on Sunday we're, we're in church, so if you're able to, you can come down and join us at 11 o'clock in church. If you can't get down again, it will be live streamed at 11 o'clock. You'll be able to watch online and join in that way. And then back to your Bible readings on Monday morning. But in the meantime, folks, take care and God bless.